Hello there and welcome back to another episode in Noble Faith. So I have been doing a little bit of off-camera work just to get things organized a little bit because some of the construction plans we had in here and after losing Michael as well, things have just uh, slowed down quite a, quite a bit. So if you bring back the UI, oh, and um, just as a quick side note as well, if you've uh, left comments in the previous episode, I have not seen them just yet. And the reason for that is I'm recording this episode right after the last one. And I think I'm probably going to do one more since I have a bit of spare time. So, so yeah, let's get into the episode. We'll um, speed up the time so they can uh, start constructing. So a few things have happened. We do have Cooper that has been captured as well. They were part of some of the bandits that tried to uh, raid us, really. And uh, what's also happened here is we've got a bit of a mission. Ooh, the stockpile of food has gone really down. Okay, let's do a quick fix for that. We are gonna hunt a few animals just to get us a bit more meat whilst they are constructing a few things for us. So yeah, let's try and improve the food situation, but we do also have a have a mission here. So Elfrida has lost all her clothes. I saw her running around pretty much naked. And um, so Baby Dragon went to have a quick chat with her and it appears that we do have some bandits in the area. After scanning through this whole map as well, I did find, I think they were, oh yeah, they're pretty far from us. And they are starting to set up a bit of a colony, it seems. Uh, we do have Ock in here. And I think there was another one as well. Pretty sure there was, because there is another bed in here. Oh, there we go. There's one more. You're just having a quick feed, right? Oh, he's looking pretty scary. Okay, well, equipment-wise, doesn't seem to have very strong stuff over there. However, Ock over here. Hmm, bronze axe. Okay, that might hurt us a little bit. So we are going to have to try and uh, fulfill this mission. Well, we don't really have to, but it would be nice to get rid of these guys before they build this big old base over there. And yeah, it's pretty far from us and it's a little bit annoying how they have uh, terrorized Elfrida over there. Now, whilst uh, we are gonna gear up, let's have a look. Baby Dragon has leveled up, so let's take a look at this. Level 9. Okay, fantastic. Cap, same for you as well. Let's level you up real quick. Level... Oh, you're uh, up to 11 now. Fantastic. And meat, let's check you out as well level six now other things we have done in here if we start uh, maybe from this side i have set up a bit of a temporary uh, rental bedrooms in here and we've uh, kind of moved this around as well that's why it's looking a little funky right now with these double doors and walls but we uh, shall be taking them taking them down okay one more and off you go. Over here what we've done is we've cleared up one of the bedrooms and in this room I'm trying to set up a bit of a stockpile for us. So yeah, a few medium wooden shelves have already been built so that's, uh, that's pretty good. If we move up a level, all these crafting tables have been moved over as well. And what, what is a little bit annoying is none of the recipes or the things that we've queued up in here uh, game through so every time you move them you kind of have to reset them but it's it's okay i suppose and up a level yeah just uh just bedrooms but i believe we had them before already as well and yeah these walls are done and then looking over here i've removed this stockpile so this is just a random room now and hopefully as soon as they have a bit of extra time and they get through all these things that are queued up then um yeah, just hoping they're they're gonna start moving those things over. Okay, we've learned quite a few new things in here, haven't we? Tall shelves are now available. If you have a quick look, then oh yeah, these are the very tall ones. So I think I no longer wish to build these ones. Yep, and we shall swap over with the tall ones instead. Okay, here we go. We'll just add a couple in the queue and that should be fine. Uh, no, we should have a lot of wood, right? Unreachable. What do you mean unreachable? Okay, well, let it recalculate. I'm sure everything should be fine. 
And yeah, this is starting to look a little bit more empty. There's quite a bit of food here, but I'm thinking... Oh. Sound the horns. All right, we've got a... Got a raid on our hands here. And we'll zoom out a little bit and see if we can spot them. Which direction are they coming from? Oh no, that's just a boar. Okay. False alert, everyone. Uh, we do need the overlay, actually. And let's see. These are all our people here. Oh, there we go. There's a couple. Couple of people that are not very welcome in our colony. So let's uh, enlist all of our warriors. You guys get over here. Cap is ready. Baby dragon is coming from there. So is meat. Oh, maybe we should just take a little detour from here. Okay, come on guys. What are you, what are you doing? Oh, you're just gonna jump down. Okay, fair enough. Yep, that, that works. Cap, if you attack him over there. Ray, keep walking. Okay, Ray. Why are you walking at the snail speed? That's... No, 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 where are you going? Okay, you get over there and we shall control baby dragon. Alright, here we go. Ayuk should be down any second now, there we go. And Aubrey, you as well. Got four of us around you. Ooh. He or she is pretty, pretty tough. Come on guys, couple more hits in. And where are you going? All right, there we go. Let's uh, jump out and see if any of them can be hired into our colony. Uh, wait a second, Ray, you can pretty much go as well. All right, Aubrey, let's take a look at you. What do you have? Ooh, hunting. And what about crafting? Where is crafting? Three plus, okay. Oh, you seem to like quite a few things. I like you, so let's treat you, make sure you survive. And I think with you, we don't care too much. However, what we could do is let's soothe. And that's all. Elfrida, you're free to go as well. Carry on with your stuff. And oh, never mind. She still doesn't have a shirt on her. Uh, this we can close. Resources we have quite a bit. And since it is getting to an evening, I don't think we'll be able to fulfill this uh, mission just yet. Uh, Cap, if you would be so kind and capture Aubrey. Oh, our colony is getting pretty big and we have a lot of uh, volunteers. Ah, oh, do you know what? Michael, where are you at? How about... Baby Dragon, what are you doing? Building wooden floors. Okay. How about we speak to Michael real quick? And let's see if we can... Oh, Cooper, actually, you're pretty good as well. Can we... Oh, no, it has to be one of the colonists. Cap, you're cutting some trees, but uh, maybe... Oh, you can't talk either. It has to be Baby Dragon. Fair enough. Let's offer Michael to serve them. And there we go. We've got a... Our construction volunteer back. Now let's do the same with Cooper as well. I'm really hoping we can also hire you. All right. And Cooper seems to be pretty happy with us as well. So that's fantastic. All right. So what we can do here. Uh, no, we want to get rid of all this. Okay. Let's figure this out. Actually, wait a second. Yes, we are building another room here. So that is okay. All we need here is, I believe, we just need a roof, don't we? Oh no, roof is already on. So perhaps we could do... Hmm. Wait a second. I guess we could do a couple of smaller rooms in here, just for our volunteers. That could work. But now that Michael is with us... Hmm. Let's take a quick look. Michael. Oh, so it seems it has saved the... Oh, maybe not. Do you know what? I'm going to reset their schedules, not the schedule, their job assignments for the Michael and Cooper. Once that is done, we'll, we'll skip the night as well and we'll be back in the morning. All right, so here we go. I have reset the job schedule for Michael and Cooper. 
So Michael's priority really is do some logging for us, then start building and then crafting and then a few other things after uh, if everything else is already done and Cooper's main priority is really to do a bit of cooking, hauling, cleaning and ranching and farming for us. So yeah, that should be pretty good. And what we'll also do, we'll try and set up a temporary residence for them in here. Uh, it just seems we don't have a lot of straw so hopefully we can cut down the last of it that's uh, still left on the map in here I mean winter's in so it seems to be not growing anymore but that makes sense yeah it's 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 fair enough okay now Cap what are you doing okay you're feeding her or him well, actually let's let's just check what are you female all right there we go. Problem solved. Now, two days of food only left. Well, that's not very good, is it? What we should do is... Not the tanneries, but perhaps the cooking station should be moved over. And I was thinking to put the kitchen on the corner in here, but for now, I guess anything is fine. So... Hmm... Do you know what? It's probably better if we do it in the right spot uh, straight away. So cooking station, well, let's try and grab this again. Uh, stone hearth, you should probably be in the middle. Ooh, okay, so that's, uh, that's not gonna work out. Who's living in here? No one, okay. How about we dismantle uh, these bits in here? You can probably stay, that's okay, I'm not too worried about that. And, oh, three days, okay, fine. And we'll put our stove right after the autosave. Yeah, that should be fine, we can do another one there eventually. Maybe give you a slightly higher priority so we can get this done. And same with the fire pit as well, perhaps we can move it. I don't know, I guess here is okay. What's your issue? It uh, doesn't really tell us, but that's okay. All right, I was really hoping to go and deal with the bandits, but let's have a quick look through here as well. Oh, that's all the new recipes that are now available. Cool. Uh, is anyone hunting? Let's see, where's our hunters at? Uh, do you know what, Michael? Oh, wait a second. No, that's okay. I don't think you have any weapons, so that's going to be interesting. Meet number seven and cap. Oh, that's number five. Okay, perhaps we should make it a little bit lower. Yeah, let's make it a four. What's number three for Michael? Oh, sorry, for cap. Uh, a little bit blind. Where is it? Oh, mining. Do you know what? No. I think food's going to be a little bit more important. And I don't think cap has a bow no he does not so we'll give you one and off you go okay baby dragon what about you you might need a short bow as well so off you go we might take those shoes actually back and let's have a look for your feet do you have anything that you like oh yes we do perfect what about hands check the hands oh we've got nothing what about everyone else okay so you're fine you're okay and these guys, uh, do you know what? Maybe we give them a hammer, I guess. Yep, you can get a hammer because you are a builder and that's okay for now. We're definitely gonna have to increase all of our clothing items. But I mean, we are slowly setting up this zone in here, so that's okay. And uh, let's have a look. Uh, pretty sure this was four before. We recovered something. Not really sure. And are you now alone in here? Oh, okay. It might be. So if we send... Do you know what? Yeah, let's do it. Let's just get it over with. We'll send our troops over. And let's take care of this uh, mission as quick as we can. Oh, meat's already here. Wait a second. What about the other two? Okay. They're not too far behind. Actually, you can already start attacking because... Yeah. Okay, there we go. Fire a few hour arrows if you can. And now Cap, if you can attack Ock as well. And Baby Dragon, same with you. Get in there. 
Okay, let's try and take him down. Get back our items. Alright, fine, fine. What does that mean? Are you... What do we have? Can we get those items back? It seems the mission is now fulfilled. And Elfrida is happy as well. Okay, Cap, you can... You can leave. Um, do you know what? Actually, let's uh, attack him again. Because we don't really want you in our area. You've had enough? Okay, they have been evicted. So that's great. Alright, off you go. We don't want you here. And at least they'll stop stealing our stuff as well. Now, another one. You can probably be moved over now. I think we have the stockpiles that we need. And same with you. Let's uh, schedule you right about there. Okay, do we have the roofs? Mm, almost. Okay, that's okay. What about this section here? Oh, we don't have the access. So how about you build these stairs first? And then we can start building these rooms as well. Because I believe access is the issue, right? Yeah, they are unreachable. Uh, okay, now what is next? Uh, food is still an issue, it seems. Have we brought over... Oh, we haven't. All right. And of course, you can take a look around. You have also... Ah, oh, do you know what? Once you get here, why don't we start buying food? Yep, that might be a lot better. And if I could grab this... Oh. Well... I was going to give it a slightly higher priority. Uh, they've already dismantled it. Okay. Yep, let's do that. And you shall be... Oh, a little bit too quick over there. And slightly higher priority for you as well. Please get this done. Uh, Cap, what is going on? You're dying. Uh, baby dragon. Oh no, it seems Elfrida... Did she fix you up? Yes, it seems Cap is now back to life. Uh, moving on, what I have realized is even though we built this pretty cool looking little villa over here, I guess we didn't really think too much about the layout, how we want to have things in here. Because we have all the space going this way, but you know, we, we don't want to block, uh, block this area, so... Essentially, what I'm thinking about is creating another walkway towards here. Okay, yep, this way. And then a little slightly cheaper sort of housing areas or, or villas right, right along here. So we can have one, two, three, four. And I'm not sure if they really need to have their private pool. These should be slightly cheaper villas that, you know, everyone could afford because this one here... How much is it per day? Rent is 11. Yeah, not everyone can afford it. What about you guys? Your budget is only 6 and... Oh, well, yours is 18. Yeah, well, anyways, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, but right now, I think our bigger priority is trying to get these rooms built so our volunteers could live a little bit closer to us. Actually, let's uh, just level up a couple of our colonists over here. So Baby Dragon is now level 10 and we can choose an ability for him. Uh, hmm. Ranching. Well, you have a 6 plus in there, although building would be great. But then again, uh, let's reroll. Let's have a look. What do we get? Okay, ranching again or do you know what? Undarketable by enemies for 30 minutes. That seems to be a lot better. Ray, what about you? So you can level up as well, level 4 now, and that is fantastic. Okay, I believe you guys are already here. How much money do we have? 169, so we're gonna get some berries. I don't know how many seeds we have, but you know what? It's alright, we'll get a few of you as well. And some boots. I mm, We had a few, but since we have quite a bit of money in seams, it is discounted right now. What about some crossbows? Hmm, no. Let's take this stuff and see if we can get some more food. Oh, no. Oh, you got pretty much the same things, don't you? 
All right, that's okay. Got a little bit of extra food and I'm sure we'll get some new colonists or travelers visiting us soon. So we'll skip the night and we'll be back in the morning. And here we go, not a day and the food situation is still pretty bad. So what I was thinking, oh, you are marked for hunting. Okay, how about we mark you up to be a bit of a higher priority? That would be would be amazing. What about you? Okay, you're already up there. And cap and meat are right on the task now. Okay, cool. We should probably move this butchering table a little bit closer to us as well. Did I misclick? And I'm not sure. Okay, we'll place you here. Not sure if this is a visual bug. Oh, Yep, there we go. Everything is fine now. Cool. So you guys are hunting. Michael, you are moving things around. And what about the rest of you? Tanning heights, cleaning. Uh, we're definitely going to have to move you over as well. And butchering deer corpse. Okay. Requires weapon. Ooh, wait a second. There's two belongings real quick as well. Uh, I think it's pretty safe to give them all some hammers. I think. Okay, here you go. You've got one. Cooper, what about you? Uh, this one's broken. I guess we'll risk it. Do uh, you know what? I'm pretty sure they're gonna build another hammer right away, don't we? Let's have a look. Do we have any? Uh, yes, we do. Maybe we increase you to two. And you're taking... Oh yeah, the stockpile is over there, so let's just change this around real quick as well how about corpses we will gather all of them in here and that's gonna be a level four okay can we destroy this yes we can what do we have in here oh iron rods some more visitors and let us hope you have some food for us how far are you you're already here okay let's see corn seeds We'll probably take them all since we do have quite a bit of money and some of your food as well, please. Cooked venison, maybe three. That's going to cost us 17 coins, but that's okay. And it seems we are back in the business. Okay, fantastic. So how about this section here? Can we... Uh, that's... I don't think I wanted that over there. No. All right, let's try and close this off like so. Have I done anything else wrong over here? Oh, I see what's going on. So this wall was actually supposed to be right about there. All right, fantastic. Now, if we check real quick, you are picking up those corpses. And that's fine. Cap, what are you doing? Collecting, intimidating ray. Oh, okay, Michael's learning some taller shelves. You're cleaning, you're collecting arrows as well. And you should be butchering the deer corpses. Why has this uh, reserved? Okay, let's give you a slightly high priority so that way everything can be constructed over there. All right, this foundry, hmm, we're not really doing anything here now, are we? It would be nice if we could start doing some bronze axes and hammers. So I guess I'm changing my mind. So let's try and bring it right next to you for now. All right. How do you guys know? There's no... <laughs> I was really hoping we get this section built today, but it seems it's going to have to be a tomorrow thing. Since it is already dark and they should be grabbing their dinner very soon and relax for a bit as well before bedtime. I think we're uh, just gonna skip the night and we'll be back in the morning. All right, so it seems I've discovered something interesting. Ok, who used to be the bandit, has ended up in our stockpile. So I'm pretty sure we left him alive, but it seems he didn't quite make it out of the map. And must have uh, passed out before that. So yeah, his corpse is now here. And we will most likely loot him. Yeah, what about... Ooh, some uh, human leather. Michael seems to like it. 
and the hides Elfrida likes this as well what about elf skin quite a few people like that so let's uh, let's do that how about we don't turn it oh Michael and Frida okay so both fine yeah even if we turn them uh, those hides into leather that should be fine because Michael seems to like it as well are we sure we want to put your Reiki um oh you guys are not gonna like this well, that's funny. Reiki is not gonna like this decision, but the thing is, you're already dead. Do you know what? Let's not make everyone unhappy. Yeah, our volunteers seem to care about this as well. So I guess for the time being, we'll leave those corpses. That's okay. But in the future, once we're a bit more developed, we're I, I guess we're not gonna care about their opinions as much as we uh, do now. Yeah, it's just that we have three main colonists and five of the ones that are, you know, just volunteering for us. It would be a shame if we, uh, if they feel that our colony isn't uh, the perfect paradise that we've uh, led them to believe. So yeah, we'll, we'll leave them be for now. Okay, let's check. We've got a few notifications here. We've learned some foundries, butcher tables, uh, same with that, and curved wooden stairs. Cap, that's for you. Okay, so that's good. Now stockpiles uh, running out of wood, so why don't we quickly scavenge for that from from this side of the map as well? Okay, yep, few of you, that should be enough. Now the next question is, are we gonna have enough straw? I think we should. Yeah, it should be enough for the roofs over there. This room looks a little funky in here, but that's okay. Uh, Ray, what do, what are you learning? Wooden walls. Okay, that's fine. Do you know what? Carry on as quick as you can. Michael, you have finally learned the tall shelves. And are you... No, you're just cutting some trees. Okay, that's fine. We definitely need some more logs, so carry on. Alright, there we go. A bit of a stockpile. 110 logs over there. That should definitely help us get these rooms constructed. And as soon as this is done, we are going to need some beds in here. So let's do the same how we did it downstairs. And yeah, that's, uh, that's looking good. All right, as soon as we get the roofs above it as well, I think we can then move everyone inside. So, yep, give it a bit of a higher priority. And the doors, yep, do this. I know, if everything is a high priority, then nothing is a high priority, but by putting these on high priority, hopefully everyone can focus constructing this area first before you know going cleaning or doing doing some other things in here. So yeah, definitely want to get this done. And you know what? It is evening. Let's skip to the morning and see if we can get this uh, little zone in here built. It seems we've got some new bandits in the area. And Elfrida, you've got another mission for us. Let's uh, quickly speak with her and see what's on her mind. Ah, uh, recover her belongings again. <sighs> okay. Right, where are those bandits? Actually, we are trying to construct this area, so we're not gonna go for this mission just yet. Please get all of these beds done as well, and the roofs. Okay, we'll end the conversation. Speed it up, baby dragons. Okay, very quickly. There we go. What about roofs? Have we done? Okay, not too far off. Just a little bit left in here. And then you guys, can we already move anyone in here? Okay, so this room could be perhaps for Michael. Yep, let's do that. Yeah, this one, can't quite see the names. Ray. Ray is right over here. Next one is Elfrida. You can move in as well. There we go. And Cooper, how about you take this? And Aubrey, do you know what? Oh, you're starving. Can someone please feed her real quick? Actually, let's have a look. Cap and feed. Okay, there we go. Don't want you to uh, starve over there. So yeah, let's make sure we feed our volunteers. They are very precious to us and we Definitely want to look after their health. I think our first bedroom's ready. Second one's on the way. Roofs are halfway done. And yeah, just uh, need another wall in here. 
Seems they're not prioritized, but that's uh, okay. We'll fix it up real quick. Camp, what's happening here? Oh, another raid. Okay. I think with this uh, this being said, the rooms are almost done. I believe it is time to close out this episode. So, yeah, in the next one, definitely gonna have to go and fend off this raid, try and get Elfrida's clothes back, and we should already have the little corner for the volunteers built as well. So, so yeah. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you again in the next one.